On this Boss RC600, I know when you first get it, it's a little hard to get started unless you customize a few things right out of the box. When we're modifying the functions and stuff, we're basically either gonna be in the loop button or the menu button. For example, when I first plugged in my looping microphone, it was distorting a little bit. So my first priority was finding the input settings and adjusting those so that it sounds great. And here's how you find the input settings. At the top of the pedal, click the menu button. Then click the third knob for the mixer, and there's the input volumes. See, I turned down my looper mic in the input one just a little bit so it didn't do the distorting thing. And if you need to tweak any other inputs, you know where they are. Boop! When I pulled the RC600 out of the box, I was just messing with the loops, and I noticed that the default settings went record, play, overdub. And I was used to doing record, overdub, play, so I knew I had to find this setting to switch those around and get it back to the setting that I like it. So the way to adjust the overdub play function, we're gonna go into the loop button, press loop, record, and then the first option right here is record dub or record play. So I switch mine to record dub so that I can start layering right away. I don't have to wait for the loop to play back and then record. I can just start overdubbing right away. Boom! Someone pointed out that the quantize ability of the pedal is not on as a default. So if you wanna turn it on, go to that same section, loop, record, and the very next thing over is going to be quantize. And you can toggle it on and off with the knob. These knobs are buttons and knobs. Don't And then I started thinking of more stuff that I wanted the pedal to do for me. Brainstorming like, what else did I want out of some of these extra switches that we have? Let me show you how to customize your own switches and we'll define some terms so that we can all speak the same language. There are nine switches on this pedal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can shuffle between these pedal modes to change. We've got there's pedal mode one, pedal mode two, and you can also hold down the switch for a third pedal mode. When you combine all the pedal modes, that's 27 different functions. And you can actually put the functions anywhere you want, regardless of what the printed labels say on the front of the looper. I see a lot of folks just taping over and relabeling the functions of the switches as they're designing and remapping their looper. And frankly, making some really practical choices. I'm gonna demonstrate how to customize the switches, but first I'm gonna show you a really cool example from a new friend that I met on Instagram who showed me what he's done. I might copy some of these examples, and you could too. Chris Clayton sent me a picture of what he's done. So basically he moved the start stop to here, a little closer to center for easy access, and made switch eight, the effects pedal mode, and put the pedal mode switcher on switch nine. I love this setup and might actually copy it. I love the color coding he's done, so it's easy to read and use in this example. Nice job, Chris Clayton. But you know, since the functions are meant to be customizable, I'm actually surprised that Boss didn't make the labels customizable too. I mean, there's a certain je ne sais quoi about really making it your own and covering it in gaff tape. But if I were Roland or Boss and I took all this time designing the aesthetics of this sexy, sleek new pedal, I would hope people didn't cover it up in gaff tape, but alas. Tape it is. Now let me show you how to modify these functions. Hit the menu button and sidestep to the next screen. On the far left, press the control functions and you'll see settings for each pedal mode right here. Pedal mode one, pedal mode two, and pedal mode three. There you'll find the customization settings for each pedal mode right there. Remember the switches are numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in each pedal mode, you can modify all nine switches. When you click on the number that correlates with the switch you're modifying, there's lots of options. So click one and scroll through and just see what they do. One of the things I realized that I needed in my live shows was an all clear function. Cause before I had either been clearing the tracks individually or like bending down and like 
turning the channel knob. So I wanted to designate one of my switches to be an all clear function. I will choose switch number nine on pedal mode three. I'll click pedal mode three. I'll toggle to the right over here until I get to number nine. And you can just turn this knob until you get to all clear. And then when you set up your settings, don't forget to write them. You can write and save the settings by pressing the exit and enter button at the same time. Then click enter again. Don't forget to save. To make it permanent. Forever. Until you modify it again. So between the various functions of each switch, the various pedal mode options, and you can save different settings on different channels. There's a lot there's there's a lot of choices to be made, but whatever you do, don't get decision paralysis. Play with some settings, stick with it for a while, and just get to making music. Processes and preferences are gonna change and get tweaked over time. And you can always ask me questions down below in the comments. For example, I borrowed this expression pedal from a friend and I think I'm gonna try it out and play with volume control and manual fade out. So stay tuned. I'm Emily McVicker. Thank you for coming by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Let's see what this new RC600 can do. Set it up just fine, keep your loops funky and tight. Let's see what this new loopation can do. Setting the presets and looping with the facts.